today I put on a special dress for a special occasion because in this video we will be completing our Cape to Cape adventure. Oh, get up, get up, smile adventure, yeah. You don't need to go far, cause you're already there. All you will learn, make it work, you will learn the price of life itself. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nora, I make motorcycle adventure travel videos and today I put on a special dress for a special occasion because in this video we will be completing our Cape to Cape adventure. So we started all the way up on the North Cape in Norway, in the most northern point in Europe that you can reach by land and then we headed south for so long that I almost forgot that we were even in Norway. We had so many adventures along the way and now we are actually going to reach the South Cape, the most southern tip of Africa. But before that, where we left off last episode is in Namibia and we visited the amazing dunes, we had another night at the amazing white house and then finally said goodbye to my parents and we went back to South Africa. Now we took a different route than we came. Um, when we came to Namibia we went through the Cedarberg mountains and this time we went basically behind the Cedarberg mountains on the edge of the Karoo, which is a desert area, arid area in South Africa. And um, it's very hot during the day and it gets really cold at night. Now, maybe you've heard of the festival Burning Man that they hold in the desert in the US. And there's actually also an African version, which is called African Burn, and it's right here in the middle of the Karoo. Now we don't have tickets and we don't have time to go to the vessel, but what we did is go to the motorcycle cafe that's right on the edge of the festival terrain and look at all the amazing structures that are being built. Now technically you couldn't go onto the festival terrain because it was already set up with all the tickets and, the, and everything was in place for it to start in one or two days. But because we are motorcycle riders and one of the organizers is also a rider and he gave us access to the terrain so we could ride around and look at the amazing art structures that were being built. That was such a cool little adventure. Now in the coming few days when we'll be riding south to the most southern tip of Africa, we have some time to reflect on our journey.
It has been a hell of a roller coaster ride. We've done a trip before, both solo, so from Europe to Asia, and I thought I knew what to expect when going on this ride, but boy oh boy oh boy did Africa throw us a curveball. Europe was absolutely fun and almost felt like a holiday. We met a lot of amazing people. We had some family dinners in Israel, had some really cool rides in Jordan, and then shit hit the fan in Egypt for the first time when we had some issues with our paperwork. This paperwork issue followed us throughout Africa for the rest of the trip. There's no time to go into detail of what went wrong and what we could have done to prevent this because there were ways to prevent this. It's not... Africa is not to blame. It really tested us as a couple. It tested our patience, it tested our problem-solving skills, it tested our negotiation skills, but all in all, I mean, look at us, we made it all the way here and we're still a couple, which I think is probably the biggest accomplishment of this entire trip. We put the V-Strom to the test by riding through the Turkana. got arrested in Kenya, which is still like the weirdest part of this entire story. I found out I was pregnant less than 24 hours after we got released from prison, which was a gigantic roller coaster ride. After that, I have to say the trip changed a little bit for me, especially because I was feeling very tired and very nauseous most of the time, but I don't regret a single second of it. There are still a lot of beautiful countries to come. Uganda, Tanzania, Zambia, Botswana, South Africa. Luckily, finally, our paperwork issues were behind us, so we could actually enjoy Africa as a tourist destination and as a safari destination, which was definitely one of our goals. We met some friends in Cape Town, we met my parents in Namibia, and now we are going to the Southern Cape. Now before you say, hey, I also went to the Cape of Good Hope, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. that is not the most southern tip of Africa. The most southern tip of Africa is actually the Cape Gagulas. And it is about 100 kilometers from Cape Town where you would find the Cape of Good Hope. And it's actually the point where the Atlantic Ocean and the Indian Ocean meet. The Indian Ocean is much warmer and the Atlantic Ocean is much colder and this is the point where they collide. Super fun fact, but not relevant for us in our story. Um, couldn't take the motorcycles to the monument, but of course we did go there and take an awesome picture.
cold morning fog. Winter is really starting to roll in here in the south now that it's the beginning of May. And it is a freezing, absolutely mind-boggling. I put on every single piece of clothing I could find in my roll bag. And then we rode from the Cape back to Cape Town, where we will be spending a few more weeks to close off this adventure. But that is for next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did, or leave your comments down below, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Lots of love. Bye. A big shout out to all my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me. A special thanks to Victor Bart, Thomas Lubbe, Dan the Priest, Edith e. Matt, Cindy Balrich, Robert Schulze, Robin and Rebecca, Jeremy Thorpe and Pradeep Singh. I couldn't have done it without you. If you're also interested in becoming part of the ADV tribe, go check out my Patreon page where you can find out more about how to support these videos.